Hello and welcome to my devlog. I think this is number 19 and it's been a long time since I did my last devlog. Shut, Shut up, up and sit down. down. There's been a lot going on. Uh, I've been on holiday. I've got another holiday coming up which is quite nice as well. So I won't be doing uh, a devlog that week. We've also done a few Play test. I'm two play tests now, and I did record both sessions, and both sessions got <laughs> something went wrong with the recording, so I've not been able to use that. So instead, I thought I would just do what I normally do and go through, like in the devlog, the changes. There's quite a bit of changes actually, because it's been about three weeks since I last did something. So, um, yep, no beer. It's Sunday. I I had a skinful last night, so I'm not really in the mood for a drink, but I don't really need it. Um, I just have a cup of tea for my thieving pixels mug. <laughs> No tea now. Anyway, let's start. So, zip. something doesn't look right. No, it's all good. It's all good. Okay. So, new visuals. I've uh, overhauled the pipelines. Gone for more. Well, I think it's more natural looking now. Uh, it was quite yellow looking before, and now it's quite blue and white. Uh, I've gone for a lot, I've removed a lot of the trees and going for grass, uh, which I just think adds to the realism a bit. Quite nice now you can get some really nice um, photographs. There. Yeah, so it's always been important to me that this game looks as real as it can, and this is probably the most realistic it's ever been, actually. So I'm really happy with the visuals. It does mean I've got to go through and redesign a lot of the island. I only started this today, um, but yeah, I like I like the direction it's going in. You'll probably notice I've got a retinal now. Retinal? Rectical. <laughs> the thing in the middle of the screen. So the mouse is gone, and we're now mouse locked, which is nice. It actually makes it feel more like a game, rather than a debug build. I, I have some new pop-ups to, to tell you what to do. Um, so press tab to open your camera. Mouse click to take a photo. Oh yeah, that's a bit slow because I've made the photograph images two times the resolution of the game, so it takes a while to, to render them. So I'm going to change that back because it's it's overkill really, and the images are huge. So that's cool. You now got some like you know some hints for the player as as they're going through the game to tell them what to do. There's that. I, yeah, I need to have a think about this. So obviously, obviously, the first sort of objective is to get to the campsite. I think the um, the overlays might be a bit too much. Like, you know, I want players to actually figure this stuff out for themselves. So that I, I'm considering a setting in the game menu where you can have the hints on or have them off. You know, play it as it was designed to be, which is you know, try and figure it out. Or um, yeah, have, have some little hints. They're a bit too dictatorial at the moment, so maybe I just need to tone that down. But we got um, got some strange symbols going on, some strange alien things going on up there. Point the point of this um, this stuff happening quite soon is I, I wanted the game storyline to progress quite quickly. Like I think the player's going to be aware that this is a I want to say an alien invasion storyline, but it's not quite that. But you know, it's around. Alien invasion, aliens and that, so let's just get to the point and start seeing some strange stuff on, on the offset. A lot of this island again needs redesigning, needs to cut back on the trees, we've got some butterflies flying around now, uh, there's a few more animals that I've added. We can run for longer, That's, that was part of the feedback on one of the play sessions. We've got some weird stuff going on now with poor little bunny down there, look at him. There's not many sound effects actually. I do need to start adding sound effects. But again, like uh, I'm gonna make this this rabbit clickable, so you can click on him and the story will trigger some sort of thoughts. But yeah, he's not right, is he? And if you actually get out close, yeah. So why, why, why? Um, do do do. More story. Oh, you can't see the story because my camera's in the way. That's helpful, isn't it? 
No, don't move the camera. I don't move it. The screen, move the camera. And you go up there. Let's continue. So, been adding more story to the game, the player, make it a bit more interesting. Make, uh, so you understand what's going on. I am sort of charging through this at the moment because I just want to want to show you what, uh, what's been going on. Ooh. I've been thinking on the map, maybe it should show where you are in relation to everything else. But then again, this map isn't 100% representation. Rep uh, yeah, 100% of our... Uh, doesn't represent the island 100%. Um, so that might be a bit tricky. The sea, the ocean, I'm, I'm working on that right now. I can't stand it, it just looks like a big mirror. Oh, it doesn't look. The head bobbing's a bit much now as well, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah. all these things. Oh, butterflies. Butterflies. Lots and lots of grass. We've got deers, we've got aliens. <laughs> as you do. So we're still looking for the campsite. Oh, my shaders are compiling, that's why it's running a bit slow. Shouldn't be doing this. If you look in the bottom right, you can see it's doing stuff. Which is why the game's a little bit jerky. Stupid me. Anyway. Coming up to the campsite now. I, I'm going to sort this area out. Yeah, sort this area out as well, because it's a bit on the bushy side. It was kind of a last minute thing for the playtests I did. Okay. So something new that we've got going on now that we didn't have before is keep an eye on the middle. Look, when you see an object you can interact with, it now goes orange, giving the uh, user some visual indication that they can do something. The radio. What is that? Yeah. Okay. The, uh, the zone's quite big there. Oh, sad. So I just picked up a radio, a torch, and a note. What do I do? Well, read the note. Use my radio. Uh, use the radio and follow my trail. How do I use the radio? Press R to use. These, this is all placeholder. I'm going to make this better, change this up at some point. Not yet. So, ha! Okay, that shouldn't have happened. That's clipping. Um, I imagine there's a full radio there. And we start to get a signal that we need to follow. Oh, I've broken quite a bit in a, in a couple of days, haven't I? There will, there will be a voiceover at some point. So you don't have to read the text. You can hear it. And again, I think I'll just add that to the game, won't it? You'll feel a bit more connected to the character if you can hear the voice. Really like the new pipeline, actually. The, the only thing that I'm not too sure on is the trees. They look a bit black on the top. Um, but actually, when I, I went out to the nature reserve a few days ago, and looked at the trees and there is they do kind of have that effect actually especially in the distance so maybe maybe it's all right um okay so we're still following that radio track. i know where to go with the radios that's why i'm not holding it up but if you're just playing you you'd have need, you'd need that the water is now looking better decent it was a bit glowy before but we now we've got a nice sort of natural looking Again, no sound effects, need some sound effects. Video's a bit jerky, the game's a bit jerky, that's because I'm recording as well. It looks like the uh, shaders are finished, which is good. I've had so many issues with recording recently, hence I've not uploaded anything. So we're following this trail to Logan.
Now I think at this point, if I heard that on the radio, I'd probably just turn the radio off. <laughs> Didn't hear nothing, mate. Sorry, what? You want? Um, this is really jumpy, and I think because of the light. Okay, so then imagine the screen's just glitched at this point because this is completely out of context and it's supposed to throw you off guard uh, but you can see Logan being abducted there and you can see something on the floor which we'll pick up in a minute got quite a few effects post processing effects going on at the moment in, in the night time so it looks a bit distorted off they go again the storyline is being rushed um, partly because for the demo I'll sort of obviously give an idea of what's involved in the game but I don't want it to take too long to sort of finish, finish the demo wow it's really jerky anyway I can pick that strange device up I was terrified I didn't know what's going on just picked up a strange device which is now my inventory but doesn't do anything it looks like that um, there's going to be a puzzle around this I want the player to uh, do a few bits before it activates also I've been watching a lot of documentaries on MIS because I kind of feel like I'm in that territory making a game similar to that obviously it's uh, free roaming but yeah I've got some ideas from, from MIS and from documentaries too many butterflies. Look at that, it's ridiculous. And disappearing too quickly. Yeah, crapsy. No, it's not too bad actually. The reflections are terrible. I don't know how it's going on with that. Okay, uh, if you're not paying attention to the story as I wasn't, you're sort of questioning whether or not you should have picked up that weird device. And uh, also about to head back to site because you're you've been hiking all day and you're worn out. Uh, I might make it rain at this point and turn it a bit dark. Okay, so yeah, that's what happens with the device. It's actually a one-way communication device. Um, from and the guy using it is it's called Noah. He's just told you, obviously, that um, go and rest. There's a bit of a challenge going on, but if you've gotten this far, you're doing well. So just keep it up. It's really hard to demo and talk about the game without giving things away. So obviously Noah's going to play a bigger part in, in the game. He's he's going to be your sort of companion. Logan, who coming to uh, find, who just got abducted, is uh, not around at the moment, and that, that'll all be answered at the end of the game. So essentially, I've got to head back to my campsite, take some rest. I apologise for the uh, recording. It's really bad. Like my computer isn't capable of streaming a game and recording at the same time. It seems. Might have to do these at a low resolution or something. But anyway, you get an idea, the idea. And it's smoother in real life. Trust me, believe me. Butterflies, butterfly. <laughs> I went overkill with butterflies. Basically, I was like, oh yeah, they look cool. I should put shitloads of them all over the place. And uh, I shouldn't have done that. Bunnies running around. My daughter uh, played this today, actually. And she got quite far on her own. I was really, really impressed. And it was kind of 
nice to see her play one of my games and she stopped to chase the bunnies and take photos of them and now she's got a wallpaper on her phone oh, that's cool so it cuts to this cutscene very abruptly again this is stuff that i need to smooth out at some point but like it, it's just sort of showing some of the dynamics of the game there, there will be cutscenes where it takes over for you you're going to bed now because you're tired i don't know if i'd sleep after a day like that So, again, perhaps this needs to be raining, needs to be, um, yeah, a bit stormy, but it's now night time, we can light the fire. I was going to say, where's the snow? That needs to come soon, and the light needs sorting. But obviously, we can see something weird's going on now. Uh, da, 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 da. Got the nice music by Jackson Wallace, the sort of grand, but a little bit freaky. There's these big orbs coming in, what are they all about? And my object has it been updated. Right, so we've got to reach the radio tower and photograph the arrival because you are a photographer after all and you wouldn't want to waste this opportunity would you now? Hell no! So up we go. Do you like the grain? The film grain? I put that on. thought it added a little uh, movie like feel to it all. Only at night time. I need to sort out of this path. It's a bit crap. But yeah. There's the radio tower, and there's something up there. Ah, oh, butterflies. What are you doing up here? Shouldn't be up here. It's all over the place. Look at them. I need to sort that. So, there we've got these big, I call them motherships, spread around the island. There's three of them at the moment. Although it looks like there's two over there. Um, and our mission was to take a photograph of one. <gasps> what is going on? It's a very, very bad transition. Again, I probably could probably be abducted at that point and transition into this scene, which is completely alien. Oh, how that cuts to too short but long story short that's your friend Noah popping up to say you're in one of the mother ships now and it's a puzzle zone so you've got to you got to figure this out and I don't know if you notice this, but throughout the game you, you're always being observed by this weird thing and that weird thing is now in the mothership as well. The mothership, this is a fairly new dynamic I guess. Um, I was thinking about Zelda Breath of the Wild and I kind of like the dungeons, you know, where you, you go in, uh, you solve the puzzles and you come out with an item that you can use to unlock and reach new areas. So that's kind of what this is. is these motherships will all have different puzzles. Um, this is a, a very early puzzle prototype. I'm not sure if it's going to stay or not. But the, the you, you, you've got a radio and you've got a torch in here. The radio has the ability to disable gravity. So when you turn it on, man, there's far too much too high. Those cubes obviously raise. So you've got a, a puzzle, and once you do, you will be returned back to the island and that radio will now have that power the ability to disable gravity and you'll be able to use it on the island to reach new areas on the island and then there's you know you'll go to the different memberships get different powers and abilities and you'll be able to combine those to solve 
different puzzles. The ultimate goal being the mothership, the big mothership at the end. Uh, one huge puzzle using all the tools that you've collected. And at the end of that, your, your reward will be the reveal of the storyline and, you know, what's going on, why you're here, etc, etc. So that's where I'm going with it. This is the demo, early demo. Um, I think it gives enough away in terms of the variety of mechanics. It's obviously very clunky in areas, very forced. Um, you know, some of the transitions need a lot of work and that's what I'm going to do over the next couple of weeks is, is start trying to tidy this up. I need to redo the island, as I say, with with this because I've got a new pipeline now so I want to tweak that but I'm hoping soon shortly I should have something that uh, people can play oh yeah this is kind of kind of the end of the demo actually um, yeah p people can play for themselves and um, yeah I think that is it so so it's been a busy couple of, of weeks because it's not only just well it's been a mad rush trying to get a demo together, to be honest. But now that it's all there, it feels it feels like it's it's a bit more coherent. I kind of know where I'm going with it now. Um, yeah, so that's that's my devlog. A nice long one for today. Complete sort of walkthrough of the game as where it, where where it's at. It's looking good, isn't it? Looking good. Oh, one thing I didn't show actually. Wash. I fixed the camera. So there's this hangover side. You, you've got these photo opportunities. This is kind of hangover from the original concept, and I broke them at one point, but oh, now they're fixed, so you you can actually get objectives, uh, meet those objectives. So like, run, rabbit, run. And get close enough about it. Well, there's one there by the tree. I didn't even see that. Oh, whoa. Don't tell me I've broken them again. Oh, whatever. I'll sort that out another time. I may just. Yeah, anyway. Cool, so thanks for watching. Um. Feel free to reach out to me on Twitter or leave some comments below and tell me what you think about the game. Tell me what you think from what you've seen. What, what uh, if you've got any ideas as well? I'd love to hear them. And yeah, until next time. Take care.